baked boneless buffalo wings. You can serve them so many different ways. They are so juicy on the inside and so crispy on the outside. Do you see what I'm talking about? Welcome to this Cooking with Love channel. Yes, this recipe actually has a little secret ingredient here. What you're looking at is chicken that is baked in the oven and you can cut up to the desired uh, pieces because you can even make this uh, into a strips not necessarily nuggets the way i have it and this is not oil they are not fried this is a little ingredient actually that i'll tell you what it is it's an ingredient that it's used by chick-fil-a and it adds additional different flavor how about it and they do come out that they are just like from the fryer if you wanted to sure go ahead and fry them if you want to make them in the air fryer go ahead for it it will work as well but these they come out from the oven and they are just deliciousness <laughs> so we have our ingredients ready let's cook <laughs> We are starting with about a couple pounds of uh, chicken breast. And uh, these were a little bit smaller. They, they were probably a little bit less than a couple pounds. And our secret ingredient is one cup of pickle juice. How about it? We will be marinating this chicken for about 15, 20 minutes in the refrigerator in the pickle juice. You don't want to leave it any longer, just about that 15, 20 minutes and they will add additional mm -mm. so try it let me know what you think about it and on the meantime we are proceeding with our other ingredients we have a two cups of panko plain breadcrumbs and two tablespoons of unsalted butter we will preheat our uh, frying pan to on the medium heat and you want to melt the butter let a little bit of caramelization happen there a uh, little bit of that uh, brown look to the butter we are looking for because it will add additional flavor to it and you know what i'm talking about we will be adding to that butter our breadcrumbs if you wanted to you could skip that process if you want to make this a little bit faster on yourself i went a little bit ahead here just so you know it that you could do that uh, because it does a little bit of crispiness um, it, it adds a little bit of flavor so yes we are adding our breadcrumbs here and just kind of watch them because they will be browning quite fast so you do want to um, you know keep an eye on it you want to mix things around and uh, they will be done very fast as a matter of fact when they are starting to turn into that honey color that's what we are looking for you want to maybe even transfer them to a dish where they can cool off because if you leave them in the pan they might be still cooking and uh, I, I don't want you to burn them on the, on the bottom and just, just so you know I would recommend that yeah so just kind of watch them and once they turn a little bit of that honey color like I said they are ready to come out if you wanted to you can even use Ritz crackers for this kind of coating but that just so you know it and they will be really really good that way as well and you see what i'm talking about the the color it's very plain looking and when they are done i just want to point that out to you and yes let them cool off and on the meantime we'll proceed to our next ingredient we will use about an egg or two and about a quarter to a half a cup of uh, sour cream uh, depends on how much meat you are uh, using um, like I said I had less than two pounds here so that was pretty much enough and you want to mix these two if you don't have sour cream you can use milk butter milk adding the sour cream makes things a little bit um, crispier to add the bread breadcrumbs to it because they come out to be thicker you're dealing with a thicker thicker texture and it creates thicker coating on the on the wings as well so try it let me know what you think about it i've been doing even yogurt when i don't have uh, sour cream yes you can even use mayonnaise or you can do half and half of each so we are straining our chicken 
from the juices and the juices are no good we'll discard those uh, since the raw chicken was sitting in them and let them dry very well it, it will help to um, not, not to have that juice in it anymore and we have some really really good rainbow of our spices here they make wonderful combination two teaspoons of paprika two teaspoons of black pepper one teaspoon of onion powder about a one and a half garlic powder a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper or you can jazz it up a little bit more <laughs> about a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika and some salt depends on how salty you would like to have it keep it in mind if you are using ritz crackers you might want to cut down a little bit on the salt because those most likely will have some additional salt in it so yes we will mix our spices together very well because we will use about one quarter of them and add to the breadcrumbs about ish and mix the breadcrumbs with those spices as well I like to have a little bit of uh, those spices in there as well so the rest of it of course will be added to our next mixture I just uh, mix those together so they are not on the bottom and uh, it's it's all mixed in well and yes we will be adding to our flour but this is not only flour this is about three quarter cup of flour and since you can't see because it's all white we also have two tablespoons of cornstarch and about a tablespoon or and a half uh, powder sugar if you don't have powder sugar you can always grind up your own sugar in the mixer just so you know it like a coffee mixer and we are adding our spices to our flour mixture and mix that together as well so make sure you have deep enough dishes to work here to mix the flour and also room to work with the chicken to coat them uh, the pieces very well and you yes you you see you can even do this with regular chicken wings as well and they will come out delicious as well on the meantime you want to prepare a baking dish that it's a shallow one i would recommend and some parchment paper that you are spraying it with the cooking spray so it's ready when our chicken it's all coated so we'll take our chicken and we'll be putting it in our flour mixture of course first and yes you can work this with one hand with the dry ingredients and one hand with the wet ingredients or if you have a utensil that it's sharp like mine i always love using that because it makes things a little bit less messy um, but to coat uh, in the flour if you don't touch that chicken you can have one hand to coat um, the chicken in the flour transfer it uh, fr from there will be going of course into an egg mixture and that utensil to scoop things from the egg mixture it works really well for me so i don't know if you have uh, just maybe some kind of cooking fork that has a sharp tip but i found that that this works very well for me so that's how been, i've been doing it because if you don't want to get your hands too dirty but like i said um, if you want um, to use your hands that's fine too just shake it off uh, an extra axis of the flour and uh, we are going into an egg mixture and we'll coat that really good and from there we'll be going it yes you guessed it into our breadcrumbs and again just shake it off extra a little bit so we don't have it too much and here it's really easy to to just use your hand because um, you want to kind of push that breadcrumbs into it to make sure that it's all coated very well and it sticks to it very well and you see our hands are really clean you, you don't you don't get that egg mixture on yourself anymore if you're just working with those breadcrumbs and yes when our chicken pieces are coated very well we'll be setting them down in our uh, baking pan that we prepared with that cooking spray and just make sure they have some breathing room uh, you want to make sure that they are a little bit apart um, that way they, they, the, the heat circulates well around it um, I actually from this recipe I came up with two dishes that I, I needed to bake those wings on 
so either you need to have a one big one or maybe you're cooking just one um, chicken breast because this comes out to be a lot of uh, little nuggets here and again keep it in mind yes you can make this to a strips as well you can get very versatile with, with this recipe so we're just coating our all chicken and putting them on our baking dish really not much to it and um, it, it's one of those processes that I think even kids they enjoy doing it with you um, if you want their help and get them interested in cooking so th this is one of those delicious projects where you can eat these by themselves or you can turn them in to have it coated with variations of different sauces that you would like to serve them or you can even turn them into a wrapper if you're making a strips so keep that in mind let me know what kind of creativity struck you out there uh, maybe something else that you can recommend okay so when they are all coated we'll put them in the refrigerator for at least about 30 minutes um, that way we'll let that uh, breadcrumbs and everything uh, kind of like set on those chickens and attach themselves and you know what they even kind of like marinate themselves still with all those spices being added and we are baking them on the preheated oven make sure 425 fahrenheit about 218 to 20 uh, celsius and about 15 minutes we will be turning them around for another five minutes back to the oven and depends what kind of um, uh, color you're looking for on the outside you can even broil them for a minute or two but keep in mind broiling will happen very fast uh, they come out crispy as it is uh, but if you want that additional color go for it and they will be delicious like I said by themselves just just like this and you see our color it's turning nice and gold and yep you can serve them whichever way you like it there's so many different sauces that we are blessed with you can make the hot sauce you can serve it with blue cheese you can serve it with ranch and honey mustard oh my gosh you let me know how you serve them because all these sauces are really 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 easy to make too I will have a short video just to list the ingredients if you want to make them yourself because they are so easy and most of the time you have all the ingredients already. So make a comment and let me know how did you make out on your chicken nuggets here. And again, they can be buffalo, but they don't have to. So thank you for watching and yes, we'll see you next time.